Hello and welcome to another surfing video. I've uh, got a bunch of stuff ready to take a look at, so let's get going, shall we? First up, we've got the Victorian House by Paulo Lameras. Lameras. I spelt his name wrong. In my top five, I do apologise. Uh, Paulo Romero's, <laughs> that's I called him in that. Evidently, Romero's is an insult. Ew, sorry. Yeah, it's Romero's. Sorry about that, man. But yeah, this is a bit of a departure from what you're used to seeing with him with his side scrolling 2D platformers. I do hope the colour saturation is not an indication of the finished item, though. Quite a departure now. The Victorian uh, house. Coming when it's ready. Coming out when it's ready. When ready. Yeah. Kind of looking forward to that. Like I said though, I do hope that colour saturation is only for the trailer. And I had to take a look at this by Inner Sense 48 a very mean looking rabbit although I would argue it's a hair but I don't want to split hairs it looks like a, ma a mad match hair to me straight of Alice in Wonderland definitely a hair you know not a rabbit it's been a bit of a fight uh, yeah, hairs fight more than rabbits, and it's got those flopped over t t uh, ears. So I would imagine that is definitely a hair. That's mean looking, don't you think? Awesome, very nicely done. And it has character, isn't that marvellous? It's got movement. Things are happening. Even though it's a static image, things are happening. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And, uh, Universe inside an insect struck me as very weird and wonderful, but I loved it. The only thing I would say is that I wanted to be able to walk around in the second environment. First of all, we'll look at that. And then we'll look at... There you go. That's the inside of an insect's brain. A bit more complex than you imagine, no? Yeah, it's quite neat, isn't it? Who'd have known? Who'd have known? How many uses, how many universes have we crushed underfoot? Beggar's belief, doesn't it? And then we have... This. Inside a bug. I'll tell you what would be more interesting though. You haven't given this bug perspective. This bug needs to be next to things that make it look bug sized. You've created a bug, you've called it a bug. So you're playing on the size differentiate between what is in the bug and the bug itself. But you haven't given the bug perspective. 
you've put it on a flat surface. You need to make the bug look as small as the bug would be, and then that would give this perspective. Because right now I'm thinking, I wonder how big this bug is. Instead of thinking, oh wow, that's a clever idea. But yeah, I want to walk around in this environment. As it stands, it's a, a sort of click through. It's cool, but I want to be able to walk around in this, in this environment. With something other than the blue puppet, please. And there you go. Cool, no? Put him back together. Put that back together. And yeah, quite nice, don't you think? Very nice, nice idea. I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm following you because I like that. I wanna see what else you do as well. Mainly making assets, but looks like, oh, you made that windmill. Well, well, well. All right, all right, mister. You get a follow and a thumbs up. And here we have Puddy Doak, Ancient Guardian. It's quite a nice big bit of a beast, that, isn't it? Look. Whoa. Galump. I'd imagine it's. I like. She's got an environment that this walks around in, too, which is pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. And I hope she does something with that. It's well worth it. Because it's excellent. It's an excellent. It's got good vibes about it. Great atmosphere and everything. Look. It's even got, look. Got smoke. Whoops. What? No. Oh, smoke coming out of his eyes. Look. Doesn't look very happy, does he? The poor chap. Manny, maybe. No, who would be happy with a bit of tree growing out of you? But yeah, excellent. Excellent as usual, Puddy Doak. is one to follow, folks. I mean, seriously. Puddy Doak makes the most delightful characters. Oh, there's that inch. This is... I'll show you that environment. I'll just, I'll just show you that environment she made. With that creature in it, stomping around. It's cool. Here's that environment, look. You get the door opening. Walk outside, here's the environment she walks like. I don't think there's run. Does run a little does move a little slow though. Could do with the character moving a bit faster. I know it's an elderly man, but he doesn't actually walk like an elderly man. If he did walk like an elderly man, maybe that slowness wouldn't have, wouldn't be so obvious. But that's cool, cool. You know, it, it's not exactly an elderly man's walk, is it? He walks like a, a quite an intrepid person. A worldly person. Oh, see what I mean? Do we walk it a bit faster? There he is, look. There he is. Go on and move then. Come on. I've big you given you a big build up. Come on, move. Move, that's better. There you go. Look, there he is. There's the old Jack. Cool, eh? Ain't that cool? Eh? Ain't that just cool, man? Very nice. Next up, we have Cityscape by Martin T. -T Martin it Martin it Martin it Martin it Nigel This is very good Very good indeed Could do with a bit of sound I think Definitely.
but it is very good. And I'm sure it's working on the sound. It's off into the distance. I don't know what happens after it's in, in the distance. I haven't waited till it's disappeared yet. Something phenomenal might happen now. And perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps I was expecting a little too much. But yeah. But it's excellent. Very nicely done. Obviously unfinished because there's no sound. And I'm absolutely certain the sound will be added. But yeah, fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. And here we are. Sooty Pinions with The Road. If you've ever seen the film The Road, you've got to watch the film The Road. It is fantastic. Fantastic. And uh, I will be covering The Last of Us, I think, on my channel, I've decided. I won't be covering it a, a, immediately. I will want to play it nice. I want to play it through myself first, and it will. I will take my sweet time. It will take me a good, probably 35 hours, because it's said to be 50% bigger than the original. And when I first played the original, that cost me, it took me 23 hours to get through it the first time because I was looking everywhere. And I will take my time with this one too. So it'll be my second playthrough, I will do it. Probably put that out on Sundays just just to something new and different to do. But yeah, this is Sutty Opinions with The Road. It's just a static. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't wait very long. I did not know it moved. Getting better with your trees. Far, far better. Like those trunks, that trunk there is wonderful. I've got a mountain, look at that mountain in the distance, eh? That's all you need, suggesting of a mountain. Could even be a flat image, couldn't it? Who knows? Is it going to move again? That's what I want to know. Maybe not. Nice bit of music to go along with it, but this is a lovely image. Just those little... <coughs> Just those little... Um bits of branches coming down there on the right there at the top there just just excellent isn't it very nice indeed the road then we have the demons we fight by Mac 17 right then shall we have a look just a it's just a uh, demon. It's cut its wrist. It's got a wobbly head. All demons have wobbly heads. You shouldn't know that by now. It's walking in blood. Yes, you see. Yeah, watch its head again, look. Yeah, you see. Too much coffee. That's what it does to you. Too much coffee. This is what happens. <laughs> Just let that be a warning. Let that be a warning. Very nice. I would change the sound here now. The whispers are fine, but the sound of the shaky head. I think it wants to be crackles. Yeah. Yeah, think. Yeah. Yeah, make it crackles instead. It's too smooth. It's a smooth sound. And you've got an image that's not smooth. If you've got what I'm saying, so you want a nice crackle, a crackly. A crackle sound rather than a smooth sound. Nice! I love it though. I love it. 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 And here we have Dead Space by Coty Stroke Y. 
thought I'd show you this. I've got a few things to say about this that need first things first. That needs to be that sensitivity needs to be turned down a heck of a lot. Tell me I can run right at the start of the game by pressing L1. Make the gun far more powerful. Brighten the environment up a little bit more. Well, quite a lot more. And I think we were in business. This is quite a cool environment. A lot of potential, but needs many little touches. These are nicely done. Just a little too dark. This is why I say about putting your own fog in, you see. At least you, then you can... You've got control of where it is then. So you can't really see what you're doing there. Look. You've basically just got... Well, you've got, you, you've got a flashing light that's on for a few seconds and that's it. You can't see what you're doing. And you, you don't even know there's a pathway there, look. You need to at least know, know there's a pathway there. Look. See? There's a pathway there. You need to know there's a pathway there. Look. There's no way you know there's a pathway there. Yeah. You, 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 this environment needs brightening up a lot. A lot. Because it's nearly there, man. It's nearly there. There's reason it's in the. That's the reason it's in the surfing video. It was going to be in a snippet, but then I realised there was just a few things that needed sorting out first. And you sort them all out. It might even be in a quick fix. Who knows? You see, you get this. This is another thing as well. These creatures... This gun's not powerful enough. Early on in the game. And the creatures move too fast. You get your back up in here and you can't see, look. See, I can't see a thing because it's too dark. You need The light needs to be far brighter than it is. It's cool though, I mean it is very, very cool. Excellent stuff. Oh you see we've got another one there and that really. I just load it up. Well, we got to yeah. You can also press the medikit when you're full, as I just there did there. Which you need to make sure you can't do that, cause otherwise you just ma ma waste the medikit. But yeah, all in all, it's pretty damn good. Just needs brightening up, sensitivity needs turning down, the damage needs upping so these early enemies are not too complicated and difficult, and the aliens need slowing down a lot. Other than that, you know, it's just touches. That's all it is. You can sprint. I mean, that's the point you tell people. You can sprint. Why would you tell them there? There you see another one. See, you can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing, man. Another one. Yeah, he... 
<laughs> oh, it's locked now, is it? Oh. Oh, it's unlocked now. Have a quick look. Just have a quick run up here, see what's up here. Yeah. Yeah, all in all, though, just need those. You just need those. You need, need it to be brighter, less sensitive, more powerful gun, slow the enemies down, make a lot less of them. It's, it just becomes an obvious thing, doesn't it? It's like, for horror to work, there has to be a whole lot of nothing. For horror to work, at least there needs to be 70 to 75% of it doing nothing nothing happening whatsoever because horror only works when nothing happens you gotta that's the thing people make a mistake of when they write horror or make horror stories or horror games it's no longer scary if it happens all the time it's thinking it's going to happen that makes a game scary but yeah, well, I mean, seriously, I'm being picky because this is excellent. Just those few things need ironing out. And here's something slightly different from the burger van. A nice, nice change, I think. I think he wants to show off his skills. And he's doing a mighty fine job of doing it in this. Because this, my friends, is a static that's a character. Hmm. That's what it's thinking. Hmm. How can I rule the world? How can I make even more money? Look at it. Look at that for a character. Looking up to the heavens, look. But that's not really looking up to the heavens, is it? That's sort of like looking up in a condescending way. Or a strong way. Someone he considers lower than himself. Now then, Mr. Jones, I see your productivity. God almighty. Productivity is down this week yeah when I was your age my productivity was three times of yours yeah condescending arrogant aggressive authoritarian hmm he's thinking how can I rule the world cool I like that I can't like that I'm going to leave that splutter in there. I could retake that, but I won't. That splutter stays. It's human. Unlike this character. Brilliant stuff. The bigger van. I've got, now I've said all that about you, I'm going to have to show folks what you've done. Because I'll be thinking, what are you on about? What are you on about? He did that, folks. He did this. Now you know him. Okay. Yes. The exec, the burger van, follow him. And there's another one by the burger van, which is interesting, flexing his muscles further. Snowfall. I do know he wasn't quite sure about this character. I don't know why. I would say she's a little angry with life. Bit of a tough, a tough woman, but angry with life. Well, that's, that depends on what he tried to accomplish with that book. It's a character. 
I think it's well done. I like the cars going by. That's quite a nice little touch. Maybe not have them go by quite as often or go by in twos sometimes. Just to break that up a little bit. But yeah, that's still nice. I, I, I think you've got a good character there. I don't know why. I'd be interested to know what it is you weren't sure about. Maybe you set out to accomplish something and you never accomplished it. I don't know what you set out to accomplish, so I'm interpreting it the way I see it. That'll probably be it, actually. But yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to know what you actually were trying to accomplish. What look and character and feel you were going for. But I like it. I think it's excellent. And then we have Draw Me a Bath by Orion Valentine. Well, now we can only expect one thing from Orion Valentine, and that is decadence in spadefuls. So, shall we see? Um, it's exactly what it looks like. exactly what it looks like. Yep. Ah, that is Orion Valentine. Okay, definitely. <laughs> and, yes, Decadence was there. <laughs> and I like this tree. This tree scene by Shandy Boy 1975. I love this scene. Just because of the delicate strokes. Unfortunately, because I'm on the PlayStation 4, there is a little bit of fizzling. I'm assuming that on the Pro, you don't get the fizzling. But I like the delicate strokes. It reminds me of something that's been painted in watercolours with the smallest possible brush. Delicate strokes. I like that. I like that a lot. See, that's the sort of backdrop you could use in a side-scrolling adventure. Just a pity you never got rid of the imp. I do not understand why you're not getting rid of the imp, folks. It's just the setting in the camera. That's all it is. And you've got the camera on this scene. All you got to do is turn it off. Yeah. You've got this little... Because my friend, it's a fly, look. Or an owl sat on that branch there, look. As an owl, Ooh, hoo, hoo. yeah, it's an owl. Owl with a big spike sticking out of its head. But yeah, that is awesome. I like that a lot. I liked that a lot. I just like the delicacy of the, the, the picture. I mean, normally we get it's quite in your face, vibrant, but this is just the finest little touches, and I like it. And we have Balloon Shooter, right, ba Rubber Gast. Full credits, see how many is involved with this. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, somebody asked me, why don't I put all the people who are involved in the game into the description? Yeah, okay. Sure, man, sure. But yeah. Let's watch this by Rabagast. See what it's like. It's a game. I think it's a sort of a sort of a um. What? Do you, oh God, I can't remember the name of the game. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, I've got to collect that. I think I'm one of the first to play it. I think so. I might get on the high score. I've definitely got on the ice cream if I'm the first play it. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll take a screenshot of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 
I don't know. I'm not sure if you've got to stop them all in the floor, you know. Game over! Yeah, oh, just beat me score. Let's go again. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try it again. Come on. Forget about collecting things. Let me just concentrate and get rid of these balloons. And I'll probably collect stuff anyway. Oh dear. Does that end? Oh, it's when the... My goodness me, it's when the balloons hit the floor. I thought it was when the balloons hit me. Alright, I'm quitting. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. But hard. Too hard for me anyway. Little old gribs. So all that's left to say is... Fairly well. Tootle pip. Au revoir. And all that good stuff. If you liked this, like it. If you liked it a lot, maybe subscribe or even tickle my bell. And do comment because I love my comments. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on another one.